What's up, Star Wars fans? Thanks for tuning in to another Vintage Collection Action Figure Review. Lobot has arrived. The grand finale of the wave. So excited about this one, to be honest. Yeah, it's just a bald guy in headphones, but it's been a long time since we've had Lobot. 2004 was his last release. It's 18 years, 18 long years. Tell you what, I have, that 18 years has certainly made my head look very similar to Lobot's. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one came to me from Inbox Toys. They're based over in Perth, Western Australia. And uh, the packing job was fantastic. They used bubble wrap, they used tissue paper, they used packing paper just to, uh, and one figure in, the, in, a, in a decent sized box. So there was no chance of this thing getting damaged until I open it. Because <laughs> that's just how I roll. He is VC223, and uh, yes, I have reviewed each and every one of these figures. The Rebel Soldier, I probably did that back in 2012. So the rest of these are all been out within the last couple of months. So um, yeah, go check out all the reviews for all these figures. And uh, yeah, Lobot is one I've been very, very pumped for. So let's crack him open and have a look at Lobot. Oh, right here is Lobot out of the packaging and uh, yeah, this one's stellar. This whole wave has been fantastic. I just feel like the quality of the plastic, um, the sculpting, the paint details has just gone up with this last wave. Um, there was some worrying signs back when IG-11 came out in the uh, battle droid that uh, came out recently, um, you know, IG-11, great sculpt, but the plastic was just leaving a lot to be desired, so... I don't know, I feel like they may have, Hasbro may have changed some things up at some point during this sort of transition. Um, we're getting different joints in the hips, we're getting sort of ball, double ball joints in there. So we're not getting the old hinge with the ugly hinge on the side. You know, these much more nicer, cleaner joints. Whether, whether they just chose to change things up, who knows. But, um... And the joints themselves, like in the back of the legs, they just, they look so much smoother, so much more part of the sculpt. They've done a really good job. Same with the arms, you know, you, the joint's clear, but uh, you know, the, the way it's sort of, the joint even has molding on it. So it's almost like they've tried to mold the sleeve and mold it into the pattern of the sleeve, just to sort of give it a little more, more seamlessness. And uh, you can sort of just see some like bumps and wrinkles in the mold of those joints in the elbow there, which is really nice. So big props to Hasbro for that. Um, yeah, like I said, Lobot, been a long time coming, much needed upgrade. And uh, yeah, they absolutely nailed it in my opinion. I think it looks fantastic, really nicely updated. It does come with this weathered E11, but uh, I think I'm gonna use the data pad from the uh, from the last one, just to uh, give him a little bit more. But yeah, the detail on the head is really nice. There's his uh, Facebook, Instagram app. Uh, that's where he does Tinder. Um, he's got his Twitter feed that runs down the side of his head there. No, I don't know, <laughs> no idea. Um, but yeah, really good likeness to uh, the late John Hollis. Really nice likeness. This is a absolutely fantastic figure. Perfect for the recently released Carbon Freeze Chamber. The recent uh, Lando Calrissian as well. And uh, what we need is those Ugnaughts, Hasbro. If we can get some, more, some of those Ugnaughts back out, that'd be just perfect and really just finish off that scene. But yeah, big fan of this figure. It's a good one, a really good one. Well done, Hasbro. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please, far away. I'd love to hear what you gotta say about Lobot. He was just a bald background guy, but uh, he has made his mark on Star Wars history as that bald background guy. All right, folks, please. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet. That would be so good. Um, about to reveal my uh, 
4500 subscriber contest. So I'll be doing that in the coming days, so stay tuned for that. Just have to record and edit and put it all together and we'll get the ball rolling on that. I'm really excited about that. So thank you all very much for watching. And until my next video, may the force be with you always.